The southwestern U.S. is home to more lizards than anywhere in the country, but none are nearly as aggressive as the leopard lizard. At 15 inches long, it's the largest species in this desert scrub habitat. And it doesn't just get its name from its spots. Its ferocity is legendary. This is a predator of other lizards, even those the same size as itself. That includes other leopard lizards. It's summer, and this female's bright orange undertail and spots reveal that she's pregnant. It's a warning for desperate males to stay away, but unfortunately, some are down way too bad to follow it. She catches sight of an approaching male. The male sprints towards the female at blinding speed, clamping onto her arm and wrestling the female onto her back where she can't defend herself. The jaw strength of a leopard lizard is strong enough to crush small rodents, and its sharp recurved teeth make escape nearly impossible. Despite the female's best efforts, she's unable to break his grip. If the male's intention was to kill this female, he'd go for her neck. Instead, it appears as though he's trying to force himself on her. And for 15 grueling minutes, I watched as this pregnant female failed to escape the grasp of her assailant. With the sun beating down at temperatures over 100 degrees, and this female exhausting herself trying to flee, she's at serious risk of overheating. Now, as a wildlife videographer, this is a really difficult situation to be in. On one hand, I want to document nature in its rawest form with no human interference. But also, I'd hate to just sit by and watch as my favorite species of lizard suffers right in front of me. Especially when her and her unborn babies are at risk of death when I could have easily prevented it. Do I let nature take its course, or does yet another man save a damsel in distress, reversing decades of progress for female empowerment? But as I weigh out my options, I realize that it's not like I'm taking away this male's food and that he'll starve if I interfere. He's just being a total jerk, and the worst that'll happen is that he doesn't get lucky. So I decide to give this female a chance to escape and disturb them. And just as quickly as I break them up, the male chases her down again. But this time, the female is able to defend herself. She rears up, mouth open, and faces the male ready to strike back if he goes for the attack. This game of cat and mouse goes on for some time, the male constantly trying to find an opening only to be flung back by the female. Eventually, her efforts pay off and she's finally able to scare away her assailant forever dooming him to a life on the sex offender registry. Although today's battle is won with a little help from a wildlife YouTuber, the summer is young and she'll have to fight battles like this every day until her eggs have been laid. Such is life in the harsh desert.